Well, another win here coming in for Giants Air. 2-0 up from the side of Reason. First game, well around in the comp. Good scaling. Game two, let's just camp mid and see how far we go. And honestly, it was the right strategy coming into this one because they got pretty far ahead early game. I mean, yeah, they got super far ahead and Xayo, the jungler of Reason Gaming, just decided to put up the biggest tent I've seen in LCS, so, like in the expansion tournament so far. And they killed him like three or four times. He was 0-4 on Ari. And he made like a couple of bad decisions because probably just he was just uh, he didn't know what to do with like such a big deficit. That's the biggest problem of like inexperienced players. They once they fall behind, they don't tend to do like they they for, forget like the most basic things like how to position themselves in lane without flash and yeah, it happens. But um, you gotta buy a ward. You gotta buy a ward. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, and then in the end they just uh, threw the game completely at like the bottom thing and then. Yeah, yeah let's actually take a look at the replay, replay maybe yeah. to illustrate that. Let's get that. that up on the screen. Reason was pretty far ahead at this point. Fizz was pretty fed, and then they decide to group up on the bottom tower. Well, no, this honestly looks like an instant replay of the first game when they had a lead and they were doing well. Yeah. Selvar just, for some reason, he he just really he just doesn't care like what's in front of him, and he'll just like run straight at the team, and he won't. He just, I don't know. You can play the replay, you'll see. But basically, uh, the Fizz starts split pushing up to mid, and they see him on a ward. It's like, all right, they split from the team. Like now we can engage. And Salivar should be backing out here, but instead he's trying to auto attack a Jax that has a stun on, and he just gets instantly popped. And now that your AD carry is gone and Fizz is in the team fight, you just gonna lose off that. Like Fizz is gonna come a little bit too late. He's just gonna just get exhausted and just get cleaned up off of this. And I think this is a really big turning point in the game. Even though they got that nice flank with the Maokai, uh, and they ended up picking up the Baron, it didn't really matter because they ended up losing that team fight too. They ended up not picking up the Baron, remember, because uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Giants yeah. came in as well. Yeah. So actually, that was also kind of a turnaround situation from game one where the Giants gave up the Baron. Now they, uh, they got it. And we got to talk about that Jax because he ran away with the game. They got into lane pretty even. No cheese, as we called it yesterday. Uh, but then he was able to get the advantage over Makai and just push all the way in. Yeah, I mean, he basically never used TP. So it was good and bad in the, in the same thing because he was never there and his TP usage was bad. But at the same time, he just pushed every single tower and got them, got to the point where he can just one-on-one. -on -one. And I think at the bottom tower, he was like, Fizz was engaging on him. And he just decided to take the tower from one on to zero and then got away with him while three people even collapsed on him. So at this point in the game, when Jax gets that high ahead, you actually have like a very big problem. And most of the time you can't deal with it because it's actually very advanced gameplay to, if you have a split push on the enemy team and you don't know what to do, you have to use teleport and just dive or four and five while the Jax is split pushing. And yeah, it's actually very hard to execute, but Mauka actually got it off, but it was not enough. Giants did uh, manage to pull this game out in the end. There should be some adaptations. Maybe this Thresh pick we saw was so yeah. big in game one. And then his here, Rydal, got placed onto Alistar with some questionable engages and maybe even communication. He was sometimes just flashing and pulverize and maybe bait the team in a little bit. I mean, he had, a, he had some actually really good engages where he got a lot of multi-man knockups, but he looked a lot less comfortable in Alistar. And I think that the Thresh is going to be a, a really big priority in the next game. Um, they was first rotated in both games. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised to see it first, Victor Band. Mm -hmm. Take fun here, stepping up on Fizz, even though they lost the game. I think that mid matchup is only always going <laughs> as well going to be super important because honestly we haven't seen the Pepinero that we've seen in uh, the stages before they came to the, the offline portion here of the expansion tournament. And well, he'll need to step up, but it's pretty hard when they're camping you so hard. But you can play a but little bit careful. It, it was good on Reason's part because they know that uh, Ex Pepe is probably like the best player on the team, and then shutting down that star player of a team actually gives a lot of confidence and if you know that the enemy star player is behind you actually have like something to back it up and I actually liked how they decided to just camp him in mid lane because to be honest Fizz is very weak in early game actually but if you get that one kill he can snowball completely out of control and even if the Jax was fat the Fizz can actually deal with him because Fizz is probably like the best AP scaling mid laner in the entire game and the second he gets like two, three, four items like every single item is such a huge power spike for him that mm -hmm. it's very hard to deal with a Fizz who gets out of control. But yeah, I mean, we just saw. It was a better team fighter, to be honest. Like, just yeah. better positioning out of their out of their AD carry and. Yeah, the AD they, carry, the, the cocky, like yeah, the cocky actually walked up to the Jax. Like that was the biggest problem too in the bot lane fight, where Cocky saw the Jax like using his E, the active. 
he just walked up to him and got stunned. And I was like, Well, he did the exact same thing in the first game. Yeah, he did. They're pushing in bottom. They just got the bear and they're like, Yeah, let's do it, boys. We're making the big play. And then he just walked straight up and jousted him again and just died. So I don't know. Yeah, Salvador, definitely some aggressive things coming out. Not something we've used to seeing for him even that many times in the LCS last year, but definitely has to put in an adjustment there. How are you calling it for this game three? Giants won game one, even though they threw at Baron and they were able to pull it back. And now they pull back the game again. So. Um, I'm gonna have to go Giants. Mm. I think the, I think the little end of I mean you have to be on like mental tilt or something after both of those games. You were you were, had the lead in this game and you they ended up falling falling out and just losing the game. And even in the first game they just picked up the Baron. They were making the nice plays and then they ended up losing off that too. So if you just threw two games back to back, it's that can't be good. That can't be good for your team morale. All right, well, we will see who can pick themselves back up. If it will be Giants who will close it out or if it will be Reason coming back into series. We'll be right back. <laughs> 